have a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado. It's a very rare car, and of course, it is a convertible. And this car has a beautiful paint job on the outside, but on the inside, it's well beyond its years. It's got a lot of fading, it's got some holes, it's got lots of things going on on the inside. But there's some heavy cuts in that door panel. I'm gonna turn around here and show you the door panel that we've already fixed. We're gonna turn it into a beautiful white interior, and we're also going to be painting the carpet. That is cashmere and polo on the carpet. Can you believe it? What a difference that's made of. However, he's starting on that, of course, it's faded. And after that many years, we all fade after that <laughs> long, right? <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna use the paint and he's going to too. This is one of those projects, and this is what I always think of. This is a car that there's no parts available. There's none of these door skins available. None of this stuff available that's within a reasonable price range. So it's, uh, you could go reupholster this car, sure. But is it too much, too expensive to do? Yes, it is. But the car's got great antiquity value if you love this car, but can you spend a war pension on it? You could if you want to reupholster it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some love and make it look fabulous using all in one paint. So that's kind of where we're at. It's one of those things, do you spend the money or do you just look at it like it is or whatever? This is a great alternative. So we're brushing on the first coat. And what color are we using? We're using cashmere and we're changing the whole color of this interior. It would take a whole lot to spend on it to fix up the inside. So we're even gonna paint the carpet. I'm gonna show you how to do that on the back of these seats in just a minute. So what do you think, cuz? Is it real easily screwing this up or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Lydia wants to know what the color is we're using. Cashmere. This we're using? Brightest white. Yeah. Lori's wondering how long before you can sit on the seats? You can sit on it probably in a good, good couple hours, but in a car, you've got a lot of little folds and stuff. I'd give it 24 hours before you start sitting on it at least. So here's the good thing about this carpet. It's very dry. It's already scratchy feeling anyway, so I have you know nothing what? to lose. Let's get going on this carpet, okay. and I'll show you how great this works. So look at this. Now this looks really bright, I'm sure, to you. I'm using this chip brush just to get that paint worked down in there, okay? We'll trim around just like trimming a door or trimming out anything else here. I'm going to get right around all these little fixtures. A little tricky because you got all those little hairs that are moving when you're trying to paint them. Probably best to work a little fast. one crack in this thing so I'm gonna try my best to get this down in here this may take a couple of attempts at this mm -hmm. to get this looking perfect but we're gonna do it and we're gonna sand it afterwards uh, a good 24 hours really it depends on how much you put into a you know an area I feel that over there and painted over it it's already good to go mm -hmm. but that was very shallow mm -hmm. mark yeah so best to let it dry 24 hours and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna sand it smooth We've got a lot of repairs to do. There is a great one, okay? That's gonna take a lot of product. I'm putting it on there because I wanna fill that up a little bit. This seam, uh, this front of this seat's broke down a little bit. But we're gonna build this whole thing back. I'm gonna stay out of that seam on purpose because I don't want that stitching to be gone, you know? So this one's gonna be a pretty deep repair.
This used to be the blue gray. It had tons of damage and tons of sun damage. It was very dry rotted as well. Had some places that it's coming apart here. I am using our Syntec brush. This is the beautiful white that we're using on the interior. That's our whitest white. And I'm gonna go right to this seat so you can see it the most. And just start brushing on a coat right over this area that we've repaired and get on some paint on this seat. And just watch the magic as we see it transform from blue to white that quickly. I'm gonna be using our brush and then our roll technique. And that's gonna get this whole seat painted and get a coat on here right over these pieces that we've doesn't crack even as brittle as this is it doesn't crack you see that so you get this little stick blend it up this came off of Amazon by the way if you want to get Mohawk finishing products so you keep blending that out right now it's gonna look like candy and you just blend that taffy out there until it kind of becomes one color and you've got a real short window of, of uh, working time so you just take that go right into that little crack you're gonna fill that in and smooth it out and uh, keep pushing it in there until it fills up that whole gap. This is sandable once you uh, finish, so you can smooth it off. It's going to take probably a good 30 minutes before it's sandable and hard enough that you can manipulate it. I'm going to be painting over the repair that I did using the Mohawk finishing products using their epoxy stick. So as you can see, there are some little places here that were repaired using the Mohawk finishing products here and the epoxy stick. This whole edge was broken out and I filled that up with the epoxy and then went back over and sanded it after it's hardened and it takes just about 30 minutes for it to harden so you can actually sand it at that time. I'm going to put on a quick coat of paint. I'll show you the floor mats that Denise painted here on Saturday. And I'm gonna rub my hand across them and you can hear, it's not that bad. You can see the nap of that. You can see that it's still, it's still letting you move it. So it's not all glued together as you might imagine something when you're painting something with hair. Now, just to give you a, something that she did is she didn't just saturate it. She actually got in there and just kind of rubbed it around and let it just kind of dye the hairs is basically how she did it. So she didn't just coat it really heavy and let it soak it up. So if you're going to do it, make sure you kind of use that as your, as your roadmap. On the edges, we went back with Iron Gate and cut in all of the edges here after we did the polo and even around this Cadillac emblem, she just went right over it with Polo, and then we went back and cut this out in the black, so that way the little emblem itself stayed in the blue. So it's two-tone, that way it kind of looked, uh, not like we just painted it, you know, that's the whole goal. A lot to this car, and we're almost finished. This was the last piece that we haven't done yet, and that was custom matching the dash dashboard as it has years of fading on the dash, and as you can imagine, it's being that it's a convertible and also just the age of the car alone is really faded. There's a flat plane here all the way across and of course right around the air conditioning vents here. I'd like to only paint that and uh, I'm not gonna go up here. That's where I was trying not to go near the windshield. Of course, if I have to, I will, but I was liking to stop somewhere because that then continues on up all of these 
uh, pieces here around the windshield. And we're going to create a custom mix right in front of you. And we're going to put that in. Using teaspoons here. Yep. Just want to show you what we're doing. So I don't got, need a lot of paint. I've well, got two, I, one, two polos, one wedgewood. Two polos, one wedgewood. Oh, you want to yeah. Black. That's what we need. We need to actually age it down, tone it down, because this is very hot. Uh, when we put this out here earlier, we did a little mm -hmm. test spot. This was still too hot. I'm going to show you a little dab on here. Oh, so this is how you do it. Good, still hot. Still, still hot? very hot. Yep. Right. Let's get her mixed up here, and then we'll go to painting. So I'm going to show you just how we do it. Just get your own custom mix. See how hot that is? Can you see that immediately? You can definitely see it on camera. So give me about a spoonful of black. Let's one go spoonful. there. Right. Start small. So now we're at two continue. polos, one Wedgwood, one Iron Gate. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say it's going to take one more Iron Gate, believe it or not. And it Let's looks see. like it's going to ugly the color, but it's actually going to gray it down, tone it down, and make it not look so new. And because cool it down, basically. Cool it down. It will cool it down. Absolutely cool it. So let's get us enough paint here to do. The dash. That's the only thing I warn you about. If you're mixing custom colors over mix, what you think you need, because it's hard to recreate it again. Mm -hmm. And too dark, we can always go back. So here's my next dab. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's really good. Right. You can't even see that. Now it's a little wet. So, all right, let's get started. Right in my mm -hmm. pocket, do I have my little handy dandy brush? <laughs> out this renovation these seats were in dire need of some love and they had places in them literally you could put your hands through the seats they were that in such bad shape we used our product bond in flex to repair them it's a vinyl product that goes into any crack or even a large hole like there were here as you can see and we filled those cracks up smoothed it out with a wet glove and then sanded it over all in one paint bonds to the bond and flex and gives you a great long lasting repair as you can see here, they're not perfect, obviously, but they look pretty darn good compared to what they did. They're very flexible steel and they don't crack. And I just want to give you that, show you that they do not crack. So there you go. That's how it's going to look. It's going to still bend and give. All in one paint is designed to flex and give as well as bond and flex. It also will flex and give even on the repairs, even if they're large repairs. You can see that we repaired the dash pad, custom mixed our color polo, wedgewood, and iron gate together to come up uh, with a color that would look like sun fading on the dash to keep us from having to paint everything in the dash because there's a lot of different color variations here from all the years of UV damage to that dash pad. So we also repaired the steering wheel, painted that as well with the same color that we used on the dash so we had that same color going on here. So there's a few shades of blue as well as our beautiful color cashmere on all of the door panel as well as the boot on the back and on the seats. To learn more about our amazing repair and paint products, visit our website at allinonepaint.com today.